Hello, friends. I'm making a tiramisu light and healthy mixture, not as heavy with the mas- mascarpone cheese. So I started with lining the tray with uh, uh, lady fingers. Uh, then you can make your coffee the way you like it, as strong and bold as you want and pour it as you see on the lady fingers. The tray I'm using is uh, eight by eight. Uh, as I said, we're not using the mascarpone cheese. We're making our own uh, light, uh, full fat pudding by adding half a cup of sugar to two cups of full fat milk. We whisk it on medium heat once the milk is heated we have another container with a quarter cup milk two yolks and three tablespoons of cornstarch whisked well together so the cornstarch does it to get into the bottom you add it slowly so the eggs are cooked and everything is heated you're gonna feel the mixture getting heavy and thick as you see once it's ready it takes about five minutes uh, from that point once you added the milk and egg mixture you can uh, pour it on top of the lady fingers and if you want you can add butter to add silkness or uh, if you have white chocolate butter that will be even better it'll taste much better it all depends on how much uh, you want to tolerate fat so, as I said, we pour it on the lady fingers, and that's the first layer of, uh, of the, the tray. Then you can repeat the same. Uh, again, put more uh, lady fingers with, uh, with the coffee. The coffee, again, it's your choice. You can make it as strong as you want. I prefer it bold because you have to... Uh, contrast uh, the cream and the sugar and all that so the the stronger and bolder the taste of the coffee better in this case you're not gonna drink it you're gonna eat it with with the cream and uh, the biscuits and all that stuff okay so uh, again the second uh, layer as i said we're gonna repeat uh, the step by step of putting the lady fingers on top uh, on top of the the cream that we just poured and again don't be worried you can use if you wanted to use two percent or one percent uh, milk you can go lighter if you want uh, it's not not a a solid route to use a solid uh, rule to use the, the full fat so this is the second layer as you see now we're we're uh, putting the mixture and again try to line it up not to go overboard and then once once you poured it on top we're gonna dust it with the cocoa powder you can make a cocoa powder mixture of sugar and uh, and uh, whatever you like i prefer just plain cocoa powder it's about a tablespoon of of cocoa powder i put it in a strainer and slowly dust it on top Uh, yeah it takes a little bit of uh, uh, you know time to dust it slowly at a time i i would uh, you know just do it like that and uh, once it's all dusted uh, set it on a table let it cool for about half an hour to an hour then you can cover it and put it in the fridge. Uh, leave it uh, at least three to four hours. You need to cool it down before you serve it. It, it tastes nice and refreshing. So, it's a very nice uh, treat, especially with coffee nice good cup of coffee and uh, yeah it's uh, it's amazing the smell you can't uh, you know can't uh, believe it so when you're serving it as as i said you can um, 
serve it with coffee and do shave some chocolate on top to uh, for a good presentation. Thank you for watching. Have a good day.